Many automotive experts have come to a consensus that a large percentage of vehicles are bound to be electrified over the next decade. This trend is to affect all market segments and even types of vehicles that are primarily used far away from a well-developed charging infrastructure. Off-roaders easily fit the description of this type of vehicles and some manufacturers are already trying their luck in this field. Today, we are talking about the upcoming electric adventure vehicles to see how long we will have to wait before zero-emission off-roading arrives. A Barcelona-based startup called the Stark Future was created with a very ambitious goal in mind – to produce an electric motocross bike that would be faster than any internal combustion model available today, as well as offer better power-to-weight ratio, thus proving the superiority of electric motors. The research and development efforts that were put in by this startup resulted in the creation of the Stark Varg. The bike that tips the scales at 242 pounds would be equipped with a water-cooled electric motor capable of reaching the 80 horsepower output. The torque parameters at the motor are equal to 203 pound-feet, but owing to the available gearing setup, the torque at the rear wheel could reach as much as 692 pound-feet. Since such performance parameters may be excessive for all riders and suitable for professionals only, the company developed a special power management system that lets you adjust the power curve, traction control, and engine braking through your smartphone. The power to the bike comes courtesy of a battery pack with a capacity of 6 kilowatt hours. This capacity will reportedly provide the range comparative to the distance traveled by a 450cc bike on a full tank. The bike suspension was developed in cooperation with KYB suspensions and it will offer 12.2 inches of travel for both the front as well as the rear wheels. The suspension is also adjustable to the rider's weight and riding abilities. As per the manufacturer, this dirt bike is production ready and you can reserve your production slot for just $100. The all-new Polaris Ranger XP Kinetic is here. The brand sees Ranger XP Kinetic as its most innovative product up to date, mainly due to its performance specifications. It is reported that for the first time, an electric-powered side-by-side -side can evenly compete or even outperform the ICE counterparts. The model's advanced electric drivetrain can generate the industry-leading torque parameter of 140 pound-feet of torque. While behind the steering wheel, you can also rely on a 110 horsepower output and the towing capabilities of 2,500 pounds. The carrying capacity is set at 1,250 pounds of cargo that can be transported inside the box. The model will be sold in two trims, premium and ultimate. The former is to be juiced by a lithium-ion battery pack with 14.9 kilowatt hours of capacity and will have the estimated range of 45 miles. The latter trim will have double battery capacity, 29.8 kilowatt hours to be exact, and will let you drive 80 miles between charges. The powertrain of this side-by-side -side model will support regenerative braking feature and will support level 1 and level 2 charging stations. Let's not forget that the innovative electric drivetrain doesn't require oil, filters, plugs and clutches to service, thus giving you better reliability and smoothness of operation. Over the years, we have seen a lot of rugged electric scooters, but having seen the presentation of the Mosfera scooter, we are quite convinced that it can give even the most expensive products a run for their money. Created with an aim of withstanding even the harshest terrains, this scooter was equipped with a set of 17-inch off-road tires, has an upside-down suspension fork in the front, as well as coil shock in the rear, in order to maintain traction and riding comfort at all times. The rider also gets a handlebar with multiple adjustment settings as well as a wide deck with anti-slip coating. The company has also announced that the Mosfera will be the first e-scooter to support the dual voltage infrastructure. This feature would allow you to toggle between the 48 volt option that is geared at longer riding range and the 72 volt option that will push the motor to the 10 kilowatt output. When in the 72 volt setting, you can reach the top speed of 62 miles per hour on even surfaces. The power estimations of this machine are out of this world, but how long will the battery last? If you decide to equip your ride with a dual battery option, you can expect up to 186 miles of riding in the 48 volt setting or up to 112 miles in the 72 volt setting. How do you like the lineup so far? 
Don't forget to support us by sharing the videos and head over to the comment section to suggest other automotive topics for us to cover in the future. Let's keep going. Despite already possessing an extensive lineup of all-terrain electric skateboards, this Australian manufacturer is bringing a brand new model for the 2022 model year. The S2 A-Trax will reportedly become the smallest, most powerful, and most technologically equipped board that the company has ever produced. Since the main application of this vehicle is to endure extreme off-road conditions, every board has a tough chassis structure with suspension elements machined from solid aircraft-grade aluminum, as well as steel reinforcements. The innovative suspension structure offers superior maneuverability and the turn radius of just 6.5 feet. The power is supplied to the wheels by a means of a drivetrain with fully enclosed herringbone gears. This drivetrain is good for reaching speeds up to 37 miles per hour and conquering hills with up to 40% grade. Consumers will be offered two battery pack options, an 864 watt hour battery good for 27 miles of riding, or an 1800 watt hour battery that can extend your riding sessions to 60 miles. The board supports a series of fine tuning options namely the adjustable rebound and turn dampeners, an 8 or 10 inch alloy wheel option, as well as a hand controller with a variety of software-based settings. Finally, the size of the board was kept at the 40 inch mark so it can be easily transported sideways in the trunk of a vehicle. Originally introduced in 2013 when electric skateboards were on the rise, one Wheel was an innovative adventure vehicle that blended the riding experience of a skateboard and a monowheel. The concept of One Wheel as an innovative personal mobility vehicle managed to win over the hearts of many consumers all over the world. Today, the company is still going strong and has announced new models going into 2022. This is amazing news considering that many of their rivaling electric skateboard manufacturers went out of business over the past years. For 2022, One Wheel is bringing two new models called the Pint X and One Wheel GT. The former is optimized for urban commuting, while the latter, being a flagship product, offers a superior riding experience both on the city streets and off-road. The new One Wheel GT has been redesigned from the ground up. It received a new in-wheel motor unit that lets you have 3 horsepower at your disposal. Even though the motor offers a 50% boost in torque compared to previous models, this one wheel still has the limited top speed of 20 miles per hour. Other improvements concerned the introduction of NMC cells that increased the range to 32 miles, new tire options for off-roading, LED headlights that are even brighter than before, and the foot pads that are covered with grippier materials. On the 14th of December, Toyota held a large event with an intention of sharing their future EV development strategy. The corporation announced a massive investment in the development of battery electric vehicles both for Toyota and Lexus brands. This strategy doesn't fully rely on battery electric vehicles, and the future is very likely to have room for fuel cell vehicles too. In order to back up this statement, Lexus has announced a very exciting conceptual model called the Recreational Off-Highway Vehicle, or just ROV. This dune buggy concept has the makings of a typical UTV with a protective cage, exposed suspension elements, and grippy off-road tires. It has the length of 10.2 feet, width of 5.6 feet, and the height of 5.9 feet. The power will come courtesy of a 1.0-liter hydrogen engine that does not require fuel cells or batteries and operates like a traditional ICE vehicle. Even though the model is supposed to be used for conquering muddy trails, the company has found a way to incorporate some design elements that are associated with the luxury of Lexus brand, namely the signature spindle grille, front and rear lights, the dark bronze paint, as well as seats with integrated suspension elements and synthetic leather upholstery. There is a tool for every job. This statement applies to vehicles of different types that are geared for performing certain tasks, as well as to newly emerging types of transport, such as electric scooters. While the majority of compact electric scooters we see on the streets are made for commuting, models like the 11 Plus were created to offer much more. Please don't get us wrong, a model with huge pneumatic tires and a hydraulic suspension system would provide a smooth city riding experience even if you are riding over the potholes and unevenly paved streets. 
but this model was created to shine in off-road conditions. The 11 Plus scooter comes equipped with a dual motor powertrain capable of putting out 3000 watts of peak power. The combination of such powertrain and a set of 60 volt batteries results in the top riding speed of 44 miles per hour. That is some serious performance that could be handled by experienced riders only. The scooter has one more feature that should be used with caution. It's a turbo boost button that can let you temporarily achieve speeds up to 53 miles per hour. The estimated riding range would depend on the battery option of your choosing. The 31.2 amp hour model would grant you up to 100 miles of riding, while the 42 amp hour unit is good for 140 miles of riding. If you are not impressed with this kind of performance, the manufacturer has revealed the plans to unveil an even more powerful model called the 11 Plus Super. Vanderhall is a Utah-based company that has attracted tons of attention from automotive enthusiasts with their three-wheel roadsters. Having made a significant impact on the three-wheeler, the manufacturer seems to be planning a shift to electric four-wheelers. Brawley is their first four-wheel model that is aimed at the fans of off-roading. This vehicle is to be powered by a quad-motor electric powertrain with output rated at 404 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque. With 22 inches of suspension travel, internal bypass shocks, 18-inch wheels with 35-inch off-road tires, and so much power on tap, Brawley should have no problem speeding through endless sand dunes. The electric powertrain is hooked up to a battery module with up to 60 kilowatt hours of capacity. This battery setup can last for up to 200 miles of riding on a charge. Since the vehicle is using a 300 volt architecture, the battery supports some of the most powerful charging options available today. Since the vehicle's powertrain has a motor for each wheel, the engineers developed a set of off-road modes called E-Crab, E-Steer, E-Tank, and E-Crawl. When one of these modes is activated, the vehicle could turn wheels in different directions and apply different amounts of power, thus letting you get out of tight off-road situations. Volcon is a young EV company from Texas that has set ambitious plans to revolutionize e-power sports market segment. At the moment, they have two production-ready electric motorcycles, while two ATV models are to be unveiled soon. The bike lineup is presented by the Grunt motorcycle and its miniature version called the Runt. The Grunt is riding on oversized tires, has an inverted fork in the front and a coil spring in the rear in order to guarantee plenty of cushioning. This two-wheeler is to be motivated by an electric powertrain with the output rated at 50 horsepower while the estimated torque parameter is 75 pound-feet. The powertrain is to be coupled with a 2 kilowatt hour battery pack, offering up to 37 miles of riding with loads below 400 pounds. The Grunt can also be equipped with a dual battery pack option, so the range in the top modification can reach almost 75 miles. Considering the off-road application of this bike, all of the powertrain components were made to be waterproof and received the IP67 rating. Speaking of the brand's ATV lineup, it is to be represented by the Stag and the Beast side-by-sides. As the name implies, the Beast will become the flagship product, aimed at capitalizing on the advantages of the instant torque of electric motors and offering advanced 4x4 capabilities. The Beast will have a water-resistant drivetrain, consisting of two high-torque motors and a battery with a capacity of up to 92 kilowatt hours. With this setup, the vehicle is said to provide up to 150 miles of all-terrain riding. Unlike its more powerful sibling, the Stag traded outmost performance for the versatility of applications. This vehicle is aimed at the representatives of the working class who need good power, towing capacity, and handling, combined with the low maintenance of the electric powertrain. This year, the company has held an IPO and is planning on expanding the dealership network going into 2022. How did you like adventure vehicles of the future? Let's discuss these inventions in the comment section. As always, more videos covering the EV topic are on the screen and, as usual, may the torque be with you.